Hey, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be going over coding examples that use the OpenAI API to directly connect to LM Studio, and then we can call whatever we want on any open source model. I've been reading more comments lately where people want to use open source directly and don't want to worry about paying for a chat GPT. And I totally understand that. So today I'm going to first show you how to directly code something that connects to any open source model with LM Studio. We're going to quickly go over how to install LM Studio and then go over a few examples. Let's get started. Well, the first thing is to install LM Studio is you go to lmstudio.ai. And then once you come here, you'll see this web page. And there are three different buttons you can choose from. There's a uh, download LM Studio for Mac, Windows, and Linux. So depending on your system, you'll want to click this button. I'm going to, I have a Mac, so I'll choose LM Studio for Mac. And then once you click the button, you'll get the file to install and then just go ahead and install it. And then once you have it installed, open up the application and you'll see a home page just like this. Now that we're here, this is considered the home screen of the software. And you can know that by on the left hand side, there are five different tabs. We have the home, there's a search, there's a place where you can chat, where you can start a local server, and then the models that you've downloaded, you can look at them. Now, the first thing we have to do is actually download a model, right? So that can be done in a couple of different ways. You can either scroll down on the home page and just choose a model. And once you find one, let's say, uh, the Mistral 7B Instruct version 0.2. Okay, they give you, there's more uh, model sizes that you can choose from. So what you can do is just click this download button. And then this tab on the bottom kind of shows up. You click here, and now it's going to show you the download progress of the model. You can also come up here to the top, and in the kind of middle center, there's a search for models. So you can also type in Mistral, for instance, here, hit go. And what it's going to do is it's going to go and search for all the models on Hugging Face. And you can see here, here are a bunch of them. So I could click on, let's see, this is version 0.2. Uh, this is the one that we are downloading, but we can also choose others, right? If you want a bigger model size or even a smaller one. Now, once that's done, on the left-hand side, go ahead and choose the tab for local server. And this is the main part, how we connect our Python code to LM Studio to use this model. The first thing you need to do is at the top, you can select a model to load. So hit this drop down. I have a few models, but we just downloaded the Mistral Instruct version 0.2. So we're gonna go ahead and click that and it's gonna go ahead and load it into LM Studio. Now, once the model has been loaded into LM Studio, there's this big green button here called Start Server. All we do is click that. And now we have a local server that we can connect to from the Python code. Similar how we would wanna connect to OpenAI's API using ChatGPT. Well, instead of giving an API key and choosing the model, well, here, we're just going to have it connect to the local server. Well, what is the local server? Well, right here, this localhost 1234 slash v1. This is the URL that we're going to use to connect to LM Studio from the Python code. Whenever you go to my GitHub, whenever you go to my GitHub, this will be updated. There are three examples here. So let's just go through them one by one. And we see the interaction with the Python code and LM Studio. So in the first example here, what we have to do is you have to import the OpenAI API. And I say client equals open AI. And there are a few different parameters you can give here, but because we're using LM studio and a local server that has the model that we want to connect with, you type in base URL, give it that same URL that is in LM studio. And because we're using a local LLM, we don't need an API key because it's local. So you can actually put whatever here. I just put not needed, but this can be whatever you want it to be. All right, in this next section of code, this is where we're actually asking the model in LM Studio to do something for us. So here we're gonna tell the model that they're a fitness expert and that we just wanna create a single day of workout for arms, okay? That's really simple, but a couple things here. The model here, the model parameter, if we were normally using ChatGPT, you would wanna put here like GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 Turbo or whatever it is, but because we're connecting to LM Studio, you can just put whatever here. I just put local dash model, do whatever you want to do. But we don't have to put the actual model in here because when we connect to LM Studio, the model that's loaded is what's going to respond to us. And then I just made the temperature 0.7. You don't actually need this. And then lastly, I just print out the content here in the console in my IDE, but we'll also see in LM Studio. So let's go ahead and run this. All right, so first thing is I had to change the model to the new Phi 2 model, which I know is a research model, but it's a lot quicker and my computer can't handle uh, LM Studio very well and record. So, uh, but the same thing applies here. You can choose whatever model you want. It doesn't matter, but it came back and it finished and I asked it for the arm workout. So the content here is all of this, right? This is what 
came back and responded with. All right, and so if we go back into uh, PyCharm, here it is, right? I because I printed out the content from the response uh, that we asked the local model. And this is it, just a little bit more organized and formatted, okay? And that's simple. That was just a simple example, asking the model to do something and we get the response back. Okay, for the next example, this is essentially a chat example. So we're gonna keep giving input inside the IDE and then on LM Studio, it's gonna answer it and respond back and it's just gonna keep doing that like we have here in the while loop. All right, so again, you have to use the base URL to connect to LM Studio, which is where our model is loaded. Again, the API key doesn't matter. You can put whatever string here you want. Okay, this time when we have the create function here, which is where we basically send. Okay, so basically where we create the chat initiate. All right, so now basically where we initiate the chat with the local model, we give it the model string name. It doesn't matter what you give it because it's gonna know in LM Studio, the messages, this is really, uh, the roles that we are giving and telling what the model is what, and what we're going to do. Uh, the temperature, set to whatever you want. 0 0.7 is just what I said to. And this time we have stream equals true. Okay. And that's important to know because instead of just having a response from the, uh, from LM Studio, we actually get chunks because we're streaming uh, data now, right? We're streaming the responses back and forth. So for chunk in completion, if there is content uh, from the stream, then we want to append uh, that content or we wanna give it to this new message. So the content starts out empty, but as we keep getting responses, chunks of responses back from LM Studio, we're gonna keep adding it to the content uh, property in this new message object. And then here, this last line, history.append, you have the role, the user, the content, okay, so this input, this is where we actually ask uh, the local model, whatever it is we wanna ask. Let's just go through this now and it might make more sense. Okay, so after running the example, it says, hi there, I'm a smart assistant, what can I do to help you? And then as you can see here, there is the right caret, which is right here in the input. So in Python, we say input, that allows me or you as a user to give tell us something. And so I did, I said, what is the capital of Canada? And it's still responding, but it's giving me the answer. And so when it's done with this answer, it's gonna come up with another right caret, and I can just continue to always ask it or tell it something until I stop the application. Over on LM Studio side, you can see that it's streaming the response because I set the stream to true. Um, it's just continuing to stream the response until um, until it's done giving me the full response, okay? For the last example, I'm gonna also show you how to use a function with, with all of this, okay? Just to give you some more ideas of what you can do. So as always, we start with an open AI client instance, okay? You give it the base URL again, just remember that whenever you're connecting directly with code to LLM, LM Studio, you just wanna give it the base URL and you do not need an API key. Uh, we'll first come down here to the prompt. I have an input, so um, at the end of this, I'm just gonna basically give it a word, um, and then the response, uh, this variable is gonna equal, we're gonna call the function and then basically give it the word uh, that I want to rhyme with, right? So it's gonna come up here. Uh, I'm gonna give it the prompt. This will be the word. So I had the formatted prompt to say, hello, give me three words that rhyme with, and then the word that I gave it. Um, so in the messages uh, array object, we're gonna give it the formatted prompt. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna print out the, the prompt. And then we, we have the function, the create function, which actually uh, gives it the um, gives it the model, the messages and everything that I want it to. So this is gonna initialize the chat with the local uh, LLM. Um, the only real thing we need here is the messages. Uh, and then we basically just return the message object. Okay, and then we'll see that whenever we go to print this out, you'll see uh, every property uh, in, the, in the actual content uh, message object that we're returning from LM Studio. Okay, so I'm running this and it gives me, uh, now, I'm at the, now I'm at the input where I can give it, I need to give it a word. Uh, so what word, let's just say time. Okay, so then my prompt, my complete prompt is, hello, please give me three words that rhyme with time. And then over on LM Studio, 
again, we're not streaming. And because stream is set to false, over in LM Studio, it's going to show you um, like every word or token that it's accumulating um, as it gives us back something. This will take a minute to finish, and then we'll see the result. All right, it's done. It completed the response. So let's go back to the IDE. And this is what I meant by here is the full uh, chat completion message object. Okay, not only does it have the content, which I printed up before, but also has like the role, function calls, and tool calls, which is essentially allowing us to call other functions that we've created. But for this simple example, uh, it gave us time, prime, and dime. And that's it. Okay, so I just hope, I hope you learned now how to directly connect to LM Studio with code, which means that we can use any open source LLM that you want locally, and it's free. As always, this will be my GitHub. So go to that if you have any questions or trouble. Um, clone it or fork it, whatever you want to do, um, or just copy it directly if something isn't working on your side. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I will be here to help you. Or if you have any suggestions, also, please let me know. I want to help you out. And also, it's helping me out too, right? I'm also learning. It's not just me teaching you. I'm also learning. We're in this process together to learn AI as much as we can. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next video.